All right, time to push some emotional buttons now. You remember the first time you heard satisfaction by the Stones? Or every breath you take by the police? How about when doves cry? Baby got back? Or the Macarena? Yes, based on your age and tastes, just the opening notes of any one of those is bound to bring a flood of rum-soaked, sunscreen-lathered, and mosquito-bitten memories. For these are summer songs. And as the summer of 13 winds down, we set out to find what makes the quintessential top-down, schools-out memory maker and learn your favorite of all time. Here's ABC's John Donvan. Ah, summertime, winding down now. But what fits best as a soundtrack to remember it by? Dancing with Molly, doing whatever we want. It got a little competitive between Miley's racy party hit and Macklemore's roof-raising rhymes. This is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll cry till it's over. For many, this summer's anthem was a little tune by Robin Thicke about women who were not exactly overdressed. But over the past few years, the Song of Summer has become a genre in itself, with its own exclusive chart on Billboard, and this year, its own VMA category. We wanted to find out what makes a summer song stick. Two things that trigger memories are songs and smells. Two very different things, but the minute you hear a song, it like it's better than a time machine. It takes you back to a time. You instantly remember where you were when you first heard that song. We headed to New York's Z100. Let's take a call. DJ JJ has been taking requests for years. Hi, will you play Blurred Lines? You want to hear Blurred Lines? That's cool. He thinks he knows the formula. It's Robin Thicke on Z100. They call it an earworm. It infects your soul, and you find yourself at random times, you're humming that song, and there may be no one around you, or you might be in a boardroom at a meeting. All of a sudden, you're like, hmm. Call me, maybe. It's true, these songs of summer stay in your head forever, because their catchy tunes capture the feeling of fun. Katy Perry doing California Girls. We were talking about the summer, and Katy Perry, you know, she is a California girl. She grew up in Santa Barbara. She knows bikinis. She knows palm trees. She knows roller skates. That was the anthem of 2010. I really wish you all could be California girls. This one made us want to roll down the windows and belt it out down the 405 because life was a highway. The summer of 91. They're road tripping in the car, and certain songs bond memories between friends. But of course, you can take it back to the Beach Boys, doing almost anything of their early stuff, but let's go with this one, Surfing USA. The Beach Boys were invented for the summer. It's in the name, and so all of the songs that they wrote were about getting to the beach, getting home from the beach, getting the girl to the beach. There's even a science behind our love for summer songs. Some studies in the UK suggest that thinking back, being nostalgic for something, can actually counteract loneliness and anxiety. It can even make people nicer. So, Nightline viewers, we asked you to vote on your favorite summer song of all time. The winner, by a landslide, wait for it. In the summer madness. DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince rapping about, well, everything that makes summer kind of awesome. Barbecues, pools, and that heartbreaking crush that you never really quite got over. I was in seventh grade, and that song was playing everywhere. He's talking about going to barbecues, and the temperature hits 88. And now, every time I see in the summer when the temperature's 88, I think of that song. But only some summer songs are actually summer hits. Others just happen to break out in the summer. They're usually not that poetic, like LFO's Summer Girls. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I take if I have one wish. Or Cisco's Thong Song. They're silly songs, and they're dumb, and it's kind of like the guy that you would have a summer fling with but you probably break up with in September. The charts will crown their winners, but for us, summer is personal. Each one of us is owned by the one song that will always take us back. I think for me, probably Miley Cyrus' Party in the USA, which I'm not proud of, but it's a great song and it is about 
being young, being free. A lot of you shared with us on Facebook the summer songs that own you. Summer fling, don't mean a thing. Summer night to Greece. I love that song and my favorite memories of dancing at the clubs. It felt like I owned the music in the floor. Always loved to dance. All I want to do is have some fun. All I want to do by Cheryl Crow. The summer of 94, Hawaii, staying in a hostel with complete strangers. Fun times. Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. I graduated from school, had a job, had a boyfriend, just the best days of my life. Brian Adams recorded that song in 1984, nostalgic for his own young summer days, and that seems to be a key part of this connection. They're tapping into not just summer now, but the summer that's in your memories when you were your most young and free. And the great thing about it is that though we'll all get old someday, maybe, the summer songs never do. Those were the best days of my life. For Nightline, I'm John Donvan in Washington.